Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am Kareem Clement. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for following me. This right here is What's Going On America. And welcome to the infrastructure bill. I am Kareem Clement. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for following me right here, right now. This is what's going on in America. And I will be breaking down the infrastructure bill that was passed by the Biden-Harris administration. Okay. So before I continue to go on, let me just go ahead and add to the screen. Okay. All right, and also let me just go ahead and uh, I thought I had it open. All right, so yes, yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome yet again. And again, I'm just gonna be talking about the key details of the $1.2 trillion federal infrastructure bill that was passed. And I can say right here that this is just some of what the bill, which I'm going to name it or what the name, the name is HR 3684, 117th Congress, 2021-2022. And I can just tell you that some of the 1.2 trillion dollar federal infrastructure bill is a uh, topping some of this and you guys can find this uh infrastructure bill which is the pdf infrastructure bill pdf on google just type that in on social media okay all right so just just some of the topics that have been uh, touched uh, in by this 1.2 trillion dollars, and this is a federal and highway uh, planning and performance management, project delivery and process improvement, uh, climate change, miscellaneous such as uh, energy release relief projects and roadside highway safety hardway hardware. The project delivery and process improvement is specializing in the flexibility for projects and alternating contracting methods and intelligent transportation system. The planning and performance management uh, is, is, is going to be touching more on the transportation planning and prioritizing process pilot program. Climate can change will grant for changes in fuel infrastructure and carbon reduced programs. Uh, the miscellaneous, I already went through that. Research, technology, education, strategic and location for reverence collecting and data integration pilot program and research and technology development and develop. Wildlife vehicle collision research. Uh, the India Affairs is uh, the use of certain tribal transportation funds and study of road maintenance of Indian land. Uh, they also have multi modern farm policies, or freight policies, improvement of state of freight plans. They have a uh, multi model investment, which is the national infrastructure and in reforms. You have the rail, which is grants to Amtrak which I'm going to continue Amtrak reform which uh, Amtrak finds mission and goals increasing services lines and assets line plan and transparency and Amtrak smoking policy they still smoke on Amtrak I thought they got rid of that rail safety railway highway crossing program evaluation emergency lighting, transparency and safety, passenger rail vehicle occupancy protection system, 
uh, required for railroad freight car plates and services in the United States. They have, um, this is a Title III, which is motor carrier safety and, and mobilized or grant programs, modification and restrictions of certain commercial driver's license, a highway traffic safety, uh, authorized of, of um, safety programs, highway safety research and development, vehicle safety, recalling, recall, recall engagement, motor vehicle seatbelt safety standards, and it just goes on and on. I could just read for days and hours. This is a big, 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 big bill. And you guys can just go. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm just going to go with like topic transit, general provision, hazardous materials, energy, uh, carbon capture, hydro research development, nuclear energy infrastructure, miscellaneous, more miscellaneous, more miscellaneous. Uh, buildings, industrial, manufacturers, uh, natural resources related to infrastructure, wildlife. And yeah, I think that that's more important. I think the infrastructure bill is very much, um, to, when I said on my show, Kareem in the morning, I said that the bill was way overdue. Now, I'm going to say this. Now, I really think God, that they were able to uh, pass this bill. I'm not going to say we're flying colors because I do know that it took some time before anybody could make a move on passing anything just about at that time. So apparently they're saying that this is fine print of a historic bill, a $1.2 trillion federal infrastructure bill that will now increase and continue to increase the debt clock. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I said this then and I said it again. With the debt clock, is there any way that the debt clock could be reset? Like, can our uh, uh, numbers be reset since we're a country? I mean, we print our money, but can it be reset? I'm just saying. It, I know that's not going to happen. But yeah, so let's go ahead and break down this infrastructure bill. Uh, so yeah, so I do know that when I was watching the news, Los Angeles received I think $23 billion of the part for their, their part in this bill. Now it could have been more, it could have been less. But I can tell you that there are certain laws into play on how the states and cities, governments, government, governors, government, gov governing this money will be able to use in their country, I mean their country, in this country, in their state. So let's see here. And, and mind you, this bill is stretched out like for years to come. Like these, this is for, because this money ain't going to be all spent in like one day. It's going to be spent over time. All right. So let's see, Americans have an infrastructure bill. What happens next? So the spending cannot be described as the economy stimulus bill. Okay, so represents a long-term patient, patient approach of rebuilding America. Right, so that means that it's not going to be given like now, like how they get the stimulus checks and the stimulus bill to be passed like everybody get their money now this bill is going to be like for the people so when so probably for the people that haven't been born yet and those who are little children right now little little babies you know when they get like 40 50 years old this would be for them okay so how cities could spend one trillion one trillion on infrastructure roads trains and highways and exits so apparently the money that would be allocated, I guess that would be uh, up to when the when the funds are uh, released to them, that they'll be able to update the bridges and tunnels and streets that is uh, damaged in the cities because we have a lot of streets that's damaged where you have trucks that decide to take roads that you're not supposed to be on and they damage and then they have uh, rain that basically 
you know, soften up the terrain after it hasn't been replaced in over 20 decades. I'm just saying, you understand? Because, you know, you see massive potholes in the street and, you know, you, you wonder, like, what's down there? And it's like, when you look at something and then when that hole opens up, it's a big gaping hole in the middle of the street, like two, four, five cars done fell up in it. Okay. So that's what I'm talking about with when I when I was talking about way over when I express the, uh, the opinions I express on this show is my opinion only. Okay, here on what's going on America. What's going on America? Okay. So uh when 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 you have these things, when I say way overdue, I'm talking about things like that. I'm talking about where they see these potholes in the street and they know that people are driving over these potholes and that they're damaging their cars because they have nowhere else to go because there's traffic on the other side, the west side, the east side, the north side, and damn it, right here on this side, there's traffic. And I can't get nowhere else because they are so forever fixing something, so you got a detour, and I'm late for work, and boom, I'm late for work, I got a pothole that I've been passing by for nearly two months, three months, maybe five months, and they putting down the cheapest material they can ever find, and boom, here we go all over again, okay? They have a fix and post the signs, doing, it's just way overdue, that's what I'm talking about, and then when they find out, finally open up the area, it's like, boom, I waited all these years just for this little, what, what exactly did they do? You feel me? What did they do? So it's all up to the state government and how the Department of Transportation wants to carry out on how they're going to allocate the money towards their their rig, towards their bridges, roads, and tunnels. Okay. So let's see. Uh, includes. Let's see. All right. So this includes support programs that makes walking and biking safer such as $1.44 billion a year for transportation allocated for requirements for states to allocate 15% of highway safety improvement program funds to protecting vulnerable road users. And that would be the walkers and the biking. So there are bridges. There are bridges. There are tunnels that people could walk through and on. Okay, um, me, have I walked on a bridge? Yes. Have I walked on the, uh, in a tunnel? Yes. Where you can walk a support car? Yes, I have walked in a tunnel and I walked on a bridge. Okay, uh, for example, the Manhattan Bridge, the Brooklyn Bridge is one prime example that people walk on and cars on it to beautify that area because they have a most it, it's so beautiful up there i tell you it's really beautiful and if they made it better beautify it, it will look even better and then to put lights and stuff on that bridge it will make it dope at nighttime it'll make the umpire state builder and the christ love building look stupid okay if they was to light that take that money and make it look good because i mean the money is allocated right why not make build a project on it right so yeah, so they have biking on there and they have people walking. So yeah, to so to help that, it will definitely that but my thing is this, Rick. That bridge been there for years, decades. And I know that structure can stay up for a lifetime, but at some point when you have way overdue infrastructure, stuff like that, stuff starts to deteriorate and starts falling apart and then we have a collapsed bridge so my thing is this you know i mean i just really ho was hoping that all the money because i'm sure that this cannot be the only infrastructure bill that has ever been passed by any president of the united states in this country i'm sure this cannot be the only infrastructure bill that has been passed because if it has then that just shows that they need to be, they need to be some re-elections up there, up there in Congress, representatives, 
states, Congress, in-house, you name it. It needs to be a whole, whole different change if you're talking about an infrastructure that has just been passed at this magnitude of $1.2 trillion. That just shows you that we have over, over failed systems of the Amtrak, over failed system of the Greyhound, over, so, over failed system of the Accelera, just the whole infrastructure, roads, uh, highway. It's just a mess. Tracks, a mess. Everything is a mess. Everything is slow. And then it's getting slower and slower and slower and slower. And it's like the technology for that is getting advanced, advanced, advanced. But the time is slower and slower. I don't care. You know, one day they say it's been a good day like yesterday, but then tomorrow we have a bad day. Why? Because we have delays. It rains. Just a, a freaking drop. Okay? They delaying stuff. That's how bad the system is because of the wires and the tracks and the trains. That's it's just way overdue. That's what I was meaning when I was saying way overdue. Okay. Oh yeah, that's my magic cup, magic cup, magic cup in the air, magic cup, magic cup in the air. Okay. Oh yes, yeah, my magic cup. Okay. So. So yeah, so it's way overdue and. It is what it is. So they want to make the walking and biking biking safer. So they added a 1.44 billion a year for transportation for the alternatives. Okay, so all right. So it says Congress mandates anti-drunk driving technology for cars. Now, okay, I thought they had something like that before, but. No, it wasn't that. It was almost like if you get into your car, they have like this the little device that they could put in to like, I guess, like for those people who are driving drunk, like if you're drunk, you can't even, well, some stuff like that. But this advanced technology right here is the biggest push ever to eliminate drunk driving. Now, I don't think you can ever eliminate drunk driving. Now, if this is going to be something that you put in your car and, you know, I don't know how this technology is going to guess that the driver is drunk you understand this got to be some major god darn it technology that's going to be on some point to where this car is going to know if you sat in the seat and the seat felt like you was drinking bitch okay the seat felt like you was drinking and it you know it gives you the sensations that's the only way that i know that this person unless you put your hand on the steering wheel and you know you got the jitters or you know, you got the, you know, I don't know what it, how a person feels when they drunk, 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 okay? But it's nasty. I, I don't want to be drunk, 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 because throwing up and feeling like that, even though you feel better afterwards, but no, can't go through it. So here, so the Department of Transportation will lead the efforts of determining the, determine, determining the best technology response to mandate. So I just gave you one of them. Mandate, put all your money into a seat. That's going to activate, that's going to determine if a person's drunk. I don't know. I mean, if they got to stare into something, put their hands on the stair steering wheel or press something, how? I don't know. But the Department of Transportation, you have approximately, I don't know, a lot of money to come up with the best technology to help uh, eliminate drunk driving and the driving this technology uh, bill anti-drug driving technology. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and add more to this. Uh, that that would actually run about $17 billion allocated. Uh, so infrastructure bill mandated new car technology to stop drunk driving. So we're talking about $17 billion to play with. All right. All right. So let's see. What else we could do up here to look at this one? Okay. So how... The new infrastructure deal will make transit better. Okay. So, 39 billion for transit. Oh, so now they don't have to ask for this bailout because I'm pretty sure that some of these transits and i'm talking about when i'm talking about transit systems i'm talking about 
transit systems that are in bigger cities, bigger states, hold the big most the big and the most capacity when it comes to traveling at rush hour. So you pick a New York, California, Florida, Texas, um, the bigger cities, the states, you know. And they have a lot of people. They're moving a lot of people a certain amount of time. And you know what? This is kind of good learning for me, too, because I play city skylines, and I'm the mayor of my own city. And I'm building the whole city. And I'm my number one problem right now is, is goddamn infrastructure. So much damn traffic. And... Everybody is just doing so much what they want to do, go to certain places, certain ways. If there's no laws that's not laid down saying that, you know, uh, cars are not allowed to park in this neighborhood because of a certain amount. And then the leisure not allowed to play after a certain amount of time. Then you got businesses and commercials that have businesses that bring trucks and stuff going through the street roadways that they're not supposed to be going on and they fucking up the streets. I'm just saying. So this here is a new infrastructure deal that will make transit better. So $39 billion for transit and $110 billion for highway construction and repair. Now, I always wanted to know if they ever, or is, is it ever going to happen, where you will see a train go from New York to California, and a bus that will take you, not even a bus, like an air hover, air hover bus, or some type of modern bus component underground that's going to take you from Seattle, Washington to Las Vegas or Las Vegas to Atlanta underground. I mean, when you in Florida, they have so much underground territory turf where they want to transport drugs. So how is it hard to make underground transportation? And get this. You know, again, I'm playing City Skyliners. One of the roads that I just invested in was solar panel roads. The roads are equipped to, with solar panels and they run off the sun. And at every time, at a certain amount of time in the city, those roads light up like how you would have one of those lights in your garden light up to roll, light up the roads for the lights. So that 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 to advance and to solar panel roads would be amazing. But the 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 bus, the transportation, or should I say transit? Uh, I've seen, was it New York? They just got like a new train, and these trains have cameras on it, and they're bigger, and they are not in service yet, but they will be coming in the next year or two. They got to test it out first. But a little bit too late for that, because my thing is this I think the only reason why they got those trains. Is because they want to add cameras on it because of the crimes that happen so much in the tunnels. Okay, so much on the tunnel, but not in the train. But this is what I'm talking about. They're using this money to spend on things. And I noticed that they, you, you know, you go to, you visit New York and you see, uh, you know, the outside entry, the exit. They make these tunnels look really nice. They got these, uh, touch screen, you know, pads and stuff. My thing is this. Look, how is this going to speed up time? How is all this going to stop delays? How is all this going to 
you know, get more trains back on the tracks? How is all that going to help smooth and passengers ride? How is it going to help passengers not cram in the train station? And number one, how is that going to help motherfucking crime? All that money that's being allocated towards that technology, I'm just saying, if you would have took that over a period of time and used it from day one of the millennium, from 2000, we in 21, 21 years ago, if you would have took that and used it into a fast advance, like how the iPhones are, then that would be amazing how our transit, how our transit and our infrastructure would be in the millennium. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So, infrastructure bill allocates $65 billion for broadband expansion. Now, I already know that they've been putting up a lot of broadband. They've been doing the 5G. Shit, they even said that the 5G could possibly have been the outbreak of the what we just went through, okay? Or that had to be such and such, part and part, whatever. But I know that 5G has been on a lot of their minds, and finally they got it. Why? Because they want broadband to be everywhere. Makes it better for a lot, and it makes it much easier for a technology that is being processed in today's world. So that's going to be on top of the $65 billion. Okay. So $65 billion broadband spending can be spread into four categories, deployment, emergency benefit, be benefits, adoption and miscellaneous okay the next bill or the next uh process it could possibly go to or money has gone gone to is animals need infrastructure too they say animals need infrastructure too so wildlife crossing are under appreciated from forms of infrastructure and will establish benefits for both humans and biodiversity. So they're including $350 million for animal-friendly infrastructure, right? And this is something that I, I love this because there's a lot of animals that I've seen, and let me just say, I've actually helped an animal cross the street. And I actually recorded it and put it on social media. And everybody got mad at me and told me that I could have died. Yeah. Well, one day I was riding my bike and I seen animals that were trying to cross the street. And I did not know exactly what it was, but I did feel sorry for it. And like anybody who has a really kind of heart, you know, help out the animals and just animal lovers. They will go and they will try to assist as much possible as they can, as possible as they can. So what I did was I went to go get a plastic bag and I picked up the whatever it was and I took it over to the other side of the street because that's exactly where the other ones was waiting and boom. When I watched the video and everybody seen the video, everybody was like, oh, my God, you crazy, man. I can't believe you did that, bro. Do you know exactly what that was? I was like, no, what was it? It was a possum. It was a possum. It was a baby possum. And I was like, okay. Had that a possum be me? And I was stranded across miles away in the long distance to cross that street. And that mean it was a four-lane, four-lane going, four-lane coming. Uh... Yeah, so I think this is really good to help get, 
you know, they can build these little tunnels and these, I've seen the videos on social media where they had these little tunnels where they could let the birds or the, you know, the little ducks swim through or the birds or the rabbits and all of them, they walk through and, and, and that's the safe haven instead of getting smashed and becoming roadkill. I'm just saying. So that's a good idea to invest in $350 million, uh, for animal-friendly infrastructure. Animals need infrastructure, too. So let's see. There's more into it. Uh, let's see. OT, ODOT to get $1 billion in new funding from federal infrastructure package. That is, uh, let's see. Minnesota is getting form of new federal infrastructure bill. Maybe because these um, areas have like uh, landmarks and the states that they want to, federal landmarks too, that they want to make sure that this money gets to that area as well. Okay. Maine expects to receive $2.4 billion for bioinfrastructure uh, package the state of Maine expects to receive 2.37 billion in direct funds over five years from th from them, and the total includes about 100 million for broadband internet, 19 million for electric vehicles, uh, uh, charging station, and 230 million for public transportation, and more than half the state's total, 1.3 billion, will go to the highways okay uh the boogie down boogie down buy-in so i'm thinking that's the bronx city dot hall fu fed funds for capping the cross bronx expressway so they will they will they will be awarded two million grants for studies uh for highway removal projects local politicians and advocate home and new projects and programs kickstart the removal of the cross Bronx expressway in new york city the removal they want to remove the cross they want to move the cross Bronx expressway okay uh arizona better get cracking if we want cash for water and the infrastructure bill so whether though they're saying the recycling, new pipeline, and rain, water capture, and reuse. The water supply project most likely to benefit from the funding will help as well. All right, so let's see. So uh, he signed the $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill, and everybody's going to be happy over a course period of time. So, yeah, so let me just go into this bill a little bit. So yeah, so that was kind of like it wasn't really a lot, but it's just it's a whole lot there. I mean, this bill goes on and on and on and on and on and on. And on, and on. But I wanted to see the Amtrak one. Hold on. Um. Oh, you got to go into sections. Oh Lord. Oh God. They don't got no um, no bookmark or anything. Oh my goodness. Oh God. You got no bookmark. I gotta go. Oh God! I think Secretary of Army. Uh, wow, this is a lot, man. And you would think that it was a page of. It don't even say that. It just, it just keeps going on and on and on and on and on and on. I don't. I, I can't. I can't tell where I'm at, man. And they only got one button that says back to top. Oh man, back to top. Oh Lord. Yo, this is too much. But again, the infrastructure bill has been passed, and you know, everybody's gonna be happy because they're gonna receive money. And again, if I have not touched bases on certain things, I'm gonna actually see if I can copy this. PDF and I'll leave it in the description or somebody will leave it in the description under this video. Okay, I don't want this to be a longer video, but I just want it to be right.
And thank you so much for taking the time to watch this infrastructure bill. Okay. On what's going on in America. I'm Kareem Clemens, and I'll see you guys in the next video. For more information, you guys can visit the blog page. Have a good one.